If you're looking to make lots of money selling digital products on Etsy, it's crucial that you have great looking listing photos. People on Etsy, they're shopping with their eyes first, so your listing photos should attract them and make them wanna click on your product to learn more about it. Before we get started, hi, my name is Kay Zane, and on this channel, I talk about selling printables on Etsy and making passive income online with digital products. So if you're into that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and let's be friends. Now let's get started. For our example, we're gonna be making listing photos for our printable journal. So we're going to come over to Etsy. I'm going to type in principal journal in the search bar and just check out what comes up. I'm going to open up a few of these best selling listings because you want to see what's actually working. So this first one, they have a lot of their pages showing on this thumbnail, um, instant download. It comes in four sizes. So they're also sharing some features in the thumbnail. They do a great job of showing every single page in this planner. They also do a nice job at showing the planner like realistically so customers might be able to imagine what it would actually look like if they buy this. The sun is going down so I need to speed this video up. This one also has like that really neutral um, kind of background to it. They're clearly showing off the product. They also have the little drop shadow here and they're really just making the most of the space that they have. On Etsy, you can have up to 10 listing photos and I think they have uh, 10. So yeah, definitely try to use up as many as you can. Lastly, this listing, I really like the fact that she has for beginners here because she's kind of calling out that target customer. She has the instant download, what sizes this is available in. It's also really cool that she has this listing photo dedicated to the benefits of her product. So benefits are how your product will actually change a person's life or make their life better. So they can jumpstart their journaling practice, reconnect with themselves by buying this product. This page is all about the features of her product. So features are the actual detail. So how many pages of it? What is it actually talking about? Is it a PDF? Is it a PNG? So it's really important in your listing photos that you talk about the benefits and the features. She also gives a bonus gift when you buy from her. So that's a really good incentive for customers to buy from you over a different shop. So I definitely would try that out if you're a new shop trying to make your first sales. And then a listing photo you definitely should have is this, this is a digital product only listing photo. We wanna minimize the amount of confused customers that we get who think that they're buying a physical product over a digital product. So definitely have this dedicated, this is a digital product only listing photo. Now that we've seen what's working, let's go over to Canva and start making our listing photos. On Canva, I'm opening up the product that we're gonna make the listing photos for. This is my cute little PLR self-love journal. I'm actually obsessed with how cute it came out. If you want to buy it to resell it for yourself, you can get it at zaneplr.com. Or if you want free access to it, you can join my first class PLR membership. I'll have links to both down in the description. The first thing you want to do when making listing photos is download the actual product as PNG files so we can upload it back into Canva. So you just come to share, download, PNG, all pages, download. Now just open up the zip file and come back over to Canva. Come to upload files over here and we're going to just highlight all of these pages and open them. Now we're gonna come back over to Canva's homepage, go to create a design, custom size, and make it 3000 by 2400 pixels. First thing we're gonna do is pick a background color for our listing photos. We saw that that neutral tan beige is really popular, so maybe I'll just type in beige. I like this, but think it might be a little too dark, so I'm just going to come over here and make it lighter. Now I'm just going to click in some of these journal pages, make it a little smaller, maybe add some more in back here. So you really can just play around with the layout and it's really up to you how you want to do it. Now let's add some shadows to the pages so it looks more realistic. So click on the image, go to edit image, shadows. I usually do a glow shadow. So now we're just going to do that for each page. Now from the other listing photos we checked out, we saw that a lot of them have words on it. So we're going to add a text box. And I'm going to type in self-love journal. 
And so now it's really up to your stylistic preferences. You can use the circles. Or you can do it like this with the little text at the bottom. I'm going to duplicate this again and actually make it a different background because you should definitely be a b testing your listing photos so that just means different designs for your listing photos because one might do way better than the other but you won't know until you actually test it out for the background for this one i'm going to just use like this shadow background of course we can't just have one listing photo so let's keep it going we'll use this same color background up here and change this font and let's start talking about some of the features. When I'm making listing photos for journals, I do not share every single page inside because then you're basically just giving away the whole product for free. Let's come back to the uploads. I wonder if you can drag and drop this in. Oh, awesome. So you can just drag and drop in some of these other questions to give people more of an idea of what's inside. Oh no, the glow shadow went away. So we're just gonna have to go back and do the edit image shadow and put back the glow shadow. If it's too dark for you, you can click these little buttons and actually put down the transparency and stuff. But I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. Now I'm gonna add something that speaks more to the benefit of buying this journal. So how's this gonna make someone's life better? Now I'm going to add in some more journal prompts. I'm going to duplicate this again and just highlight some of the other pages that are included. Make sure that you're centering all the text headers. I should mention that Etsy has been experimenting with the cropping of listing photos. So sometimes they show as rectangles, sometimes they're shown as squares. And so what I've been doing is I still make my listing photos rectangular, but I keep all the important information within the center square of the rectangle. So if Etsy crops it, you can still see the title and any important information clearly. So just to make sure everything's in the center square, I'm going to add a square so I just hit the R key come to position in width I'm going to put 2000 pixels and height 2000 pixels let's lower the transparency a bit position it to the center okay awesome so now we see if this is cropped as a square you'll still be able to fully read self-love journal it's really most important that your thumbnail is fully readable so right now we only have four listing photos. So I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm going to delete these two, rotate it. I'm just showing you how you can just make some extra ones. I think you need Canva Pro to do this, but you can come here and search for a pen and add a little pen in here. Make it look cute. We can even change the background to be like a desk or some wood to make it look more realistic. Where are the photos? Photos. Or if you want to show this off in like a iPad, if they use it on their iPad, let's come back to elements, type in iPad. I don't love how this one looks to be honest with you. So let's go to frames. So elements, scroll down to frames, and then let's just search tablet. Um, if you really want to add some razzmatazz, you can come to Elements, search up a shadow. There are some free ones, but I think most of them are Canva Pro only. So I like using like this one. You just put it in the corner up here, lower the transparency a lot. Now we're going to make that this is a digital product listing photo. So in big letters.
we can definitely make this a little bit prettier. Now let's zoom out. If you come down here to grid view, you can look at all of your pages at one time. So we used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven listing photos. If you want to get to all 10, you can just make more listing photos showing off your products or you can advertise a free bonus that you have. You can advertise a coupon code that you have. You can promote other products in your shop. Now all we need to do is download these listing photos as PNGs so we can upload them to Etsy. So you come to share, download, PNG, download. And now on Etsy, I would upload these listing photos two to eight and then I would duplicate the listing and then go and change out the thumbnail to this one. So you would have two listings, each with a different thumbnail photo. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave them below down in the comments and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.